Hey, what's happening, everyone? I'm Sir James coming at you guys with another video, and I hope you guys are doing well. Today, I'm here to give you guys my review on a jacket that was sent to me by behalf of Luca Designs. Now, Luca Designs is a company that produces a lot of high-end quality jackets, and I have to say they actually have a really nice selection of jackets and, of course, offerings between not only the male but female audience as well, so you're easily going to find something nonetheless. So I decided to go ahead and um, they gave me the opportunity to pick out two jackets of whichever one that I wanted. I decided to get one Star Wars jacket and believe it or not, one non-Star Wars jacket. And in today's video, I'm here to give you guys my review on their Transformer one that they have on their website. They do offer between two options, between the Autobots and or Decepticons, so whichever faction you're on, or maybe you want both. Uh, so I decided to go with their Autobot option, which is why you would see the red on the shoulder rather than the purple for the Decepticons. Uh, but before we get into that in the close-up look, I do want to go ahead and note some important things here. For one, they do offer uh, between two different options. I am actually currently wearing the real leather option and it's definitely very comfortable for sure. However, if you're not comfortable with the real leather option, they offer what's called vegan leather, which is 100% animal friendly. And not only that, it's actually gonna be at a cheaper cost for sure. So there's something like that to be considerate if, uh, again, if you want the real leather option or non-real leather. Uh, not only that, you definitely wanna take uh, good caution in terms of what sizing you're gonna get, definitely using their sizing chart. If you do end up getting a size that's a little bit too small or too big, you could always exchange it for an alternate size that hopefully is going to work best for you. And also some of the jackets may be either fitted or loose. This is more of a looser fit, which is what I personally like and prefer but some of the jackets may have a fitted look so if you want that slimmer tone you can go ahead and go for that option as well so let me go ahead and give you guys a closer look here and then I'll kind of go over the, any initial details like pockets and whatnot so as I mentioned, I am currently wearing their Autobot version. If you go for the Autobots, you are going to be getting the red striping on the shoulder. For the Decepticons, instead of red, it's going to be purple. So you're going to find this on both the left-hand side and also the right-hand side of the jacket. Another cool thing to kind of note here, you'll probably notice already, is that the jacket seems to have like a worn look to it, which honestly is great. I like any form of jacket that has a bit of a worn look to it and is definitely going to look the part and it's definitely quite nice for sure. Uh, there's a little bit of a look of that sh shoulder section. Um, here is the back here and I'll give you a closer look of the Autobot logo in just a few minutes once I take this off, of course. But as you can see, we have the Autobot logo located in the back, dead center. And the initial detailing along the back side here. Over on the sleeves here, you do have the riveting portions here. And you do have some adjustments, so if you want to go ahead and make the section tighter. And there's also a zipper here, so if you want to kind of open this up a little bit, uh, again, you have a little bit more freedom to work with. Uh, so let me go ahead and take this off and show you guys towards the logo and bottom section. So here is the Autobot logo. And as you can see, the symbol looks very, very well done. And it's embossed and basically all the stitching and everything on this jacket is a very nice and clean look. So I'm definitely impressed for sure. And some initial details here towards the bottom here. Uh, one important thing to kind of note here to know if you're getting an official product from them is that this is basically their uh, product of authenticity right here. So whenever you see this particular pin uh, that's stamped onto the jacket, this will basically let you know that this is an official Luca Designs jacket. Um, if you have the same style jacket, but it doesn't have this down here, then it's basically going to be a counterfeit bootleg jacket. So do you kind of keep that as a note of reference? So let me go ahead and put this back on and kind of go over the details in terms of pockets. Now in total, there's gonna to be a set of four pockets. You have two on the outer side and then two on the inner side. So you have one that's located down here on the front right pocket and of course the front left hand pocket. I will say that in terms of the depthness of the pocket, it's a relatively short pocket, so I wouldn't put anything like a phone in there. Uh, maybe some loose change or something like that, something small that's not as valuable. Uh, that would be perfect, or just to kind of rest your hands in there, so whatever works best for you. But you do have a couple of uh, main inner pockets here that are relatively at a good size. 
I uh, want you have more of an open style here, meaning no zipper or anything like that holding it in place. And you could easily fit a large phone in here for sure. Uh, for example, I have this iPhone. Uh, I think it's an iPhone 12 or something like that. I don't remember. They're all the same to me. <laughs> but I could easily put this phone in there and it's not sticking out or anything like that. So it works perfectly fine and it's going to be secure. Uh, the other option, if you don't like that, they do have another pocket, same size on the other side, but this one actually does have a zipper located here, so you can make your items a little bit more secure, wallet, whatever the case may be, uh, but definitely a good job indeed. Uh, here is what the inner portion of the jacket looks like. It's just striping on the inside, nothing too crazy as far as detailing goes. Um, but I did end up choosing a size small on their website. They do have plenty of sizes, and for their size chart, I seem to be in the small or medium category. Uh, so I ended up getting a small, and thankfully it fits me perfectly fine with no main issues whatsoever, at least not that I was able to notice. Uh, let me go ahead and quickly zip this up. Normally, I don't like to wear uh, jackets zipped up. I more I like to have a little bit more open. But just to show you guys what this looks like on me, all zipped up. Um, here is what it looks like. Maybe if I was like biking or something like that, I would probably have it zipped up. But that's how that one's going to look. If you hear crunching sound, flowers over here eating some dry. The dogs always like to interrupt the videos one way or another. But still looks very nice. Again, I just prefer it to be unzipped personally. I think that's a little bit more of a nicer look, at least for me, but everyone is a bit different. But like I said, I think they did a splendid job. And I do want to give a big shout out and a thank you to Look at Designs. Now, if you do find a jacket on their website that catches their interest, I do have a discount code that they actually provided me. You could use the discount code, which I'll put it in the description just in case if you put it in wrong. Uh, it's spelled out, all caps, JMS, and then 10, which will give you an additional $10 off of any item at $150, if not more. Like I said, they definitely have a good option between real leather or vegan leather, whichever is going to be more comfortable to you. There is a jacket that I am looking at, but I have to wait personally for Disneyland to actually reopen in the new Marvel Land because they have this really cool, uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy style jacket that I personally seen. I'll put an image up on screen. Um, but yeah, definitely a lot of great options, you know, from Dragon Ball Z, um, maybe your Cyberpunk, maybe your Arrow, Flash, DC, Marvel all kinds of different things to choose from. So definitely give them a browse, even if you're just window shopping, it's really cool to see what they have to offer. But let me know what you guys think of the jacket in the description down below. But if I had to give this a rating out of five stars, for me personally, I'm easily giving this a five out of five. But once again, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section down below and I'll see you guys in the next product review.